Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Ori Quinn. I'm here at Ozark Holistic Center and I'm here with Bree. Yeah, hello. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming and sitting down. No um, so today we're actually going to talk about Bree and kind of what brought her here into the office, which was two main concerns. One was kind of chronic sinus infections, like kind of an annual sinus infection thing, yeah. that this last, about a year ago, yeah. resulted in kind of also brought in like a big anxiety type issue, kind of anxiety type attack. So kind of tell us a little bit, just some of the things you're experiencing with those. Sure. Yeah. Um, so every fall, basically, um, since I was a child, yeah. that has always triggered allergy problems. Um, so the cold, the rain, uh, the, the, mold, the mold, mildew, yeah. stuff like that. Um, and so like last year, like you said, around October, I got my first sinus infection of the season. Um, and we tried to treat it with antibiotics, which has always worked. Yeah. Um, and it worked for a short period of time, but it kept coming back, you know, every three or four weeks or um, a month that would it either I, well, what at the time I thought was happening was I was just getting another one and another one, but I think what was happening is that the first one never went away. So around January, um, still chronic sinus issues um, daily, I developed fifth disease from my son. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And um, so that kind of coupled on and then like the stomach bug and then I mean, it was just like t over and over and over. I'd never been like that sick and that just back to back to back yes. and still never able to get off they the advice. sinus. Yeah, like still having the sinus issues. So I was taking, you know, 10 to 15 different pills, you know, cough syrups, stuff like that a day to try to get over yeah. all of the junk. And it just yeah. never happened. You know, it wasn't ever happening. So that's when my friend... Lana suggested that I reach out to you guys, um, and that's what brought me here. So during that, well, and then to touch on the anxiety. Yeah. So, yeah. so since I'd never been, you know, I've had sinus infections my whole life, sinus problems my whole life. But the fact that it was like coupling on each other and growing and things, it was making me really anxious that my body wasn't doing what it was supposed to be doing. Yes. So then I started like doubting my body and just um, the anxiety kept growing. Every, you know, every morning was like I was waking up with a different symptom um, ultimately ended up in the ER with a kind of like a panic attack that we found that was a drug induced panic attack from taking so many so and the antibiotics the antibiotics and, other, and like the, the mucinase, yeah, decongestants and all that stuff, stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah so then I you know I told my husband and I was like I'm not doing this anymore this isn't my personality or my nature to live this way so that's what landed me here which I'm going to focus on one thing you said there, which I've never said that, like had that come out in an interview, but I just love it. And that is that you said, like you started questioning whether or not your body was doing what it should be doing, right. which is super like crucial because ultimately like that's how we get better. Right. No matter how you look at it, no matter what herb we give you, no matter what medication you're taking, if your body didn't know how to like fight bacteria off, the mm -hmm. medication would never be good enough to actually kill that off. Right. Like, the herb would never be strong enough to put things back into balance. And so, um, like there's this total need to have faith and confidence in your right. body and what it can do. And so yes, when people lose that because of continual, right. like it does tend to create anxieties. Right, I was worried there was like internally something wrong, that you know, something bigger, yeah. um, where it was just, I just couldn't, my body wasn't catching up with how fast I was getting run down. So. Yes, and that's a yeah, yeah perfect way to explain it. Yep. and that's exactly we see that actually a lot, especially with the anxieties. And then you you uh, put in there the antibiotics, which have a really big effect on people's digestive chemistry. Yes, um, it's not that they're a bad thing on their own, but if you look at the way they affect people's digestive chemistry, then mm -hmm. especially if you're having to do round after round, right, you start up in this problem area where also now like even brain chemistry can get thrown off, right. hormones, inflammation, and, and then oh, that will kind of amplify the anxiety. Yeah, so, so that we've done plenty of um, diets and such, where you cleanse and stuff, yeah. so I know how my body's supposed to feel, but during that time frame, you know, with all the medicines and stuff, I was not eating well. Um, yeah, Because yeah. I didn't feel good, I didn't feel like eating. The anxiety was making me not want to do anything, mm -hmm. I mean, really. Um, besides just make it through the day. So I could tell that it was just all adding on to each other and I didn't really know how to get out of it. I was too afraid to, I, I trust doctors, you know, I trust yeah. what they give and stuff. And so I just, 
it's like an internal battle of I need my body to work right, I need medicine to work right, and that's where I wanted someone like you to, you know, show me what um, products you might have that could either help or replace something I've already taken. Right, and bring, bring it all together. I'll put my own little yep. plug in there because yep, uh, that's one of the interesting things about our training as we're chiropractors, it's like certified in applied kinesiology. The applied kinesiology training, its whole focus is this try to figure out how to take a more like holistic approach, try to like back up a little bit yep. and be aware of the different processes of the body mm -hmm. in your overall treatment uh, right. as opposed to trying to just go like, hey, it's an infection, immune system, bam. Right. Uh, and so it was kind of that's kind of the neat part is it allows us to kind of back up a little bit yeah. and use those different modalities, which is what we did. Yep. So we came in, we go through a whole series of what we call muscle testing uh, to assess for food sensitivities, which we took off several other foods, mm -hmm. and then we also check for like herbal remedies right. uh, for the actual infection, and as well as balancing of um, in case of the anxiety, we're looking at brain chemistry, brain hormones, right. and so. The sign of infection thing cleared up relatively quickly. That was one that I think went quicker. Right? Yeah, Within... once we finally figured out what we needed to take to kill it, it yeah. worked. And one of the things I told everyone that I was doing is what I appreciated most about you guys is you weren't telling me not to go to the ENT or not oh, to yeah. do you know this or that, but you know what can we take here so you don't have to take the hard drugs every time hard drugs yeah, yeah stronger, <laughs> you know the stronger, stronger drugs yeah. um, <laughs> every time because for someone who has them a lot or you know two or three times a year i'd like to i was interested in not taking antibiotics every single time yeah um and so that's what i appreciated most is it wasn't like i came in and you were like okay stop taking all that yeah. and take my stuff like you appreciated where I was and what I was taking and helped me get off things to take a more natural approach and I really like that. That's cool. That's cool to hear that. I don't, <laughs> yeah, no, that's cool to hear that because I, I really am a firm believer in like in people's journeys. Mm -hmm. Like you've learned a lot already about how your body works right. and like what solutions have gotten you to where you are now, right. you know? I mean this is the first time and you've battled this your whole life but this is the first right. time it kind of went further south, right? So you figured things out along right. the way. So then, yeah, so then it was uh, several weeks for the sinus infection, yep. and then I think it was a full almost two to three months probably for the anxiety. It took longer for the anxiety, um, just because I think I wasn't letting myself let go. I was scared it was going to like keep slipping yeah, back. You know, back. people always say they get yeah. their own way. Um, but once I was like, okay, this is working, and you know, I was just trusting the way everything was playing out, it really helped. It, you know, and just the sun coming back out, it just kind of was a whole mood swing. And you were the first person that ever in my life, I think, has tested my vitamin D levels. And it was like almost non-existent. And yeah. so I think that helped tremendously. I forgot about that taking part. that, yep. So I'll put another little thing in there. So we, we do look at blood work, people's blood work they bring mm -hmm. in. And if we feel like there's something missing or a piece of information we still we want to have, yep. we go ahead and run that. And you already had quite a bit coming in. And so yeah. there was just a few things that really just over the years seeing it, I realized play a really crucial role in things yeah. like, it's like chronic chronic illnesses, chronic yeah. infections. Uh, so we ran, I think it was the vitamin D and then iron thyroid and, and thyroid. And iron. Iron, yeah. There's a couple iron components there. Mm -hmm. I've seen that continue to play into that. So uh, yeah, and that was a big part of it too. Yep. And we've seen that level come up, yep. so, which was good as we follow up with that. So cool, that gives you kind of a brief story. Yeah. Um, I appreciate you coming, sitting down and doing this. Well, I appreciate you guys and yeah. I won't stop. Won't stop. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, it was like, I knew when this came back, it was like, okay, let's, well, and now that I'm pregnant, it's how can I treat this yeah. the best for me and my baby? Um, and so I trust these products and I trust what you guys say to take. Cool. So, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. So. Like that. Thank you.